Alright, there we go. Hello and welcome back to another episode here on No Man's Land. That's right. Alright, so let's hop right on into it. I did a little start on the harvest yesterday, whatever. So we're gonna continue with that. We got the combine here. And uh, I think it's gonna depend on what I make off this harvest. Let's just be real here. Everything's banking on the cash from this harvest at the moment. If I make a decent amount, that'll be good news for us. Because I have an idea. I'm gonna go start silage. Yeah. I don't know, I might... Another good idea is working towards potatoes. That... Actually, I will be fine. I'd be down to run a potato harvest. Uh, I didn't miss anything. Just checking that. This isn't a bad combine. I wish I had a bigger header. But we can always upgrade later on in the future. I'll probably actually... I might keep this one for a bit because I can get a corn header. But I don't know. I missed my turn. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. There we go. I probably should go... I'm going to start going the other direction though. Just... liters that's not bad now I'll probably just do this for the day and then yeah we'll be going to do another job and I will hopefully get the second harvest instead now my fields need lime that's a problem I don't have the lime yet. you know let's just go straight down We'll just go straight down here and we'll be running the harvest here. All beautiful. Alright. So as I'm harvesting, I'm just not going to pay attention. There we go, there we go, there we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. It's just not perfect lying. Yeah. It's not bad lying either. Probably be so. Now, we are... I'll have to. I don't think this thing will fill off this one field. Now the other issue is I didn't have the ability to really take care of it. So yeah, this is not gonna be that good of a crop. But I'm hoping once I can get some type of sprayer, we'll do much, much better because I can herbicide it. Which, in reality, is all I'll probably use a sprayer for is herbicide on the crop. Uh, I also kind of want to get rid of this small field here in the future. Mainly the future. There we go. This combine doesn't have great. Making sure I had it's ladder out oh, of cab. Yeah. All right, there we go. We're going down the field again. Yep. All right, I'll just go back up again. That's fine. 
There's no way I'm going to be perfect on this harvest. No. No way. Now, I do have uh, options I'm considering. This one. I don't worry about loading wagon. I don't worry about the next tractor type. I legitimately use the tractor in the trailer I have right now. Not big. I know. 3,000 liter. Which is my combines. Um, uh, capacity. I work to upgrade the trailer. Who's here? Okay. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, no. We work on, um, the trailer capacity. We work on track. Well, first of all, we need a tractor upgrade. Hold on. My dog's barking. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, they're kind of across the road. Or, mm. Now the uh, harvester, yeah, sure, it's kind of big, but it's not big enough. I, it's a good harvester, so this will last us a while. I I can see this lasting a while, you know, two, maybe three plots of land. Probably get a second plot, make some fields. Depends on what size they make all the fields. But this one's gonna last me a good time, so it's fine. So, but the tractor and the trailer are not gonna last. We need to get more equipment like that. More tractors, slightly bigger tractor. I, it's not gonna be an insane upgrade. All. Okay, there we go. Turn it. There we go. Beautiful. Turn around. But oh. oh. There we go. Go off the side of the clock. That should do it. That beauty go. It's a good harvester. You know, it's not amazing. It's not amazingly crazy. But it is big. Okay, there we go, we got that part of the field done. But yeah, nope, there we go. There we go. Or wait, this thing's gonna get close to filling out. Never mind. Soybeans aren't doing too bad, you know? They're going in pretty nicely. And I'm, yeah. They're flowing pretty nice. Oh, I missed a couple pieces. Okay, let's just turn it around. Now, um, it's not going to be a lot. That's two, six, nine, four. Two, six, nine, five. Oh, right. It gave me one liter. So, yeah, no, it's, that was not a lot. To a 3,000 liter combine, that's not a lot, but it's fine. Anyway, we're going to get this first task done today. No time. I'm gonna speed up time. There we go. Let's just start speeding up the time. 
get this thing harvested. I'm gonna harvest the other field. And then we'll be set. And I'll have a small down time probably in between the harvest. That's okay. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Now let's go straight on down the field. We go. So straight down we go. Harvesting it up here. But yeah, no. All right. So anyway, I'm actually not gonna bother unloading him, but we will need to unload it on this next harvest, which is cool. Put the pipe back in, and we'll just drop the header. We have the header down, and we're just waiting on that crop to be ready. So let's me just speed up the time a bit more. And actually, let's just think here: what crop will we plant next? Um, hmm. wheat's going up. Barley's gone down. Canola's going up. Or no, is that oat? I think that's oats that's going up. Not like per. Oh, uh, the soybean. Is okay, soybeans max its price. Canola. Okay, canola is the one if I think that is. That's four nine six. It's not perfectly crazy. But is that oh that's going up? So we've been starting to go down. Now that field should be ready, I think. Yeah, that field will be ready by the night end. Okay, we'll just keep the trailer attached and let's go sleep it off. And then the next things that we'll be doing in this um after the night as well okay not tired apparently hmm. that's fine I can just keep time going but anyway so now that we're looking at this let's kinda go walk the fields here excuse me I can find that log actually <laughs> there, there's a log somewhere down here and I've never found it. I can't find it again. That's the problem. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Look, I found him. <laughs> now it's getting dark out. That's always nice. I think once it's fully dark out, we will take a nap. There we go, that's gonna make some money. 
not gonna be a lot. We may go into debt now that I think about this. That's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be good if I get a negative balance. But I think uh, stirring silage is the only option that we have at this point. That's good. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Just 194. So selling that log was helpful. Alright, let's go back to the harvester, shall we? Because I'm not mistaken, that crop is grown. Should be ready to get harvested. Yes, it is! Look at that. It's harvested. ready, which is nice. Ready to get harvested. Okay, we don't. I don't love where I made this field at, but it is a good spot for just now. I'll probably. I'm definitely gonna get rid of this field here in the future. I don't see it living for. Yeah, I don't see this still lasting forever here. I'll probably get rid of it sooner than later. Just because of its location. It's not a very good location. And actually, this will probably be good to spot, you know, storage shedding over here too. Just put up a few sheds of storage. That is true. That's a, that's a very good idea. Alright, there we go, there we go, there we go. Wow, I got a load. Great. That's very true. Yeah. This thing must have said something different. I, I can't really turn in this field. That's a bigger problem. Now, the biggest issue here is, well, I have a longer trip up to that store. So we might... This field here not gonna last that long. Probably once I get like another plot of land, I'll probably get rid of this one and turn it into only storage sheds. You know, storage zone, whatever. Maybe put the chickens up here. Interesting spot for chickens. Would actually be a decent location too for the chicken pen. Now it's nice and close to the main house. To our house there. Uh, it would definitely fit chickens. That's an idea. Alright, yeah, so at the moment, all the crops we do grow here are going to be just sell crops. So... Now, if I was to get chickens, I would be growing wheat. Yeah, I did. I killed the crop. Yeah. There we go. So, yep. 
Definitely. I mean, what are the price of soybeans right now? Five, four, five? Oh, mm. I don't know. Hopefully, though, we're going to get a good thing from soybeans. Because that's not going to be great news if it's really that bad and the price is plummeted to the point of where it's now not worth the soybeans. That's going to be a little bit upsetting. If soybeans are actually now not worth anything. But that's how it is sometimes. I planted based on a price that was really good. And now I'm getting ready to get a price that's really bad. The biggest problem is just, I don't know, I don't like this field. I'll probably get rid of it as soon as I make another field. No, I'll probably leave it. I just want a lot more land before I get rid of this field. So it still has use to us. This field will probably have use for a little while. Once I'm able to make a few fields, what I, well, you know, have some other nicer sized fields, I'll probably get rid of this field here. Just because, well, I won't need it anymore. Chopping that is not doing too bad. I'm not gonna get an insanely crazy price here when I sell it. That's the sad part. But it happens. I'm tempted now to drive the harvester up to us quicker. No. No, I don't want to drive harvester up to the store. Because let's just say I'm going to get a... Something like a shovel. I can bring that back immediately. Which is the hopes here. Well, I could afford a shovel right now. I go buy the shovel. I go get a mower. I'm really hoping I can make 5,000 off of this harvest. Is that too much to ask for? Probably. Probably, probably. that little tractor a couple seconds to start up. Okay, it should be good to move now. Let's see. Oh yeah, it is good to drive. Okay, I really missed the game that whole thing. I just unable to aim this pipe. Apparently. I think I need to be close to what I want to get. Yeah, there we go.
I don't know what I'm gonna plant next yet, so let's just kind of take. A I honestly think I might plant canola. Canola could be worth it. But I'm not sure. Well, let's see how much we can get from um this harvest though. Cause if I get what I'm hoping I can get, it will get me at least forty five hundred. Which I'll show you why we need that once I'm on a straight shot down to the store, not on this road bend here. Just, I would hate to crash this and lose my grain. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, we don't want to lose our grains. Uh, that should be a pretty. Actually, hold on. There's a straighter spot here. That'll be good. Under mowers. I'll go over here. Okay, uh, that on that one. Wait, that's four thousand three hundred. Never mind. Forty-three hundred dollar for this mower here. That's the mower we're gonna aim for because it requires about ten horsepower. Yeah, ten horsepower just to operate it. So it's a really good mower in my opinion. Other thing is though, we're gonna want something like a shovel to pick it up right now because I don't... Because the loading wagon that I could get for this thing... Uh, where... Is it under loading? Yep, yeah, loading wagons. We go down here, I have a modded one. 675 for 40 horsepower. I don't have that type of tractor yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to do some silage. Make a silage harvest. You know, sell a bunch of silage off. It will get me enough money to get something like a loading wagon plus a little higher horsepower tractor. It'll just be a pain in the butt compacting with this tractor, but that's okay. Because I can carry 3,000 liters of grass at a time into a bunker silo, that's $5,000. So in reality, we're working towards a $5,000 goal right now. So we need about 9,000. And let's just say, let's just say for $10,000 at this point. Just to even start that type of, well, feet. Now, if we can't get to that, we don't get to that at the moment. It's whatever. I can always make do with a, um, another I process here. Let's see. One thousand six thirty five. Okay, well, let's go head back down to the farm mill. So that's not ideal. I I don't know what. Could always sell another tree off. Don't really want to cut another tree. Is that bad to say? I don't want to cut more trees. No, it's not. It's probably a good thing. But, I guess we'll just cut another tree if we have to cut another tree or two. Well, if I can even just cut grass right now and sell grass off, that would be fine as well. I'd be okay with having to do that. Because I'm fairly sure it's in here. Under these mowers, yeah, I can't afford a mower. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait and hope that. Let's just see how much we get from this harvest. Let's just see how much we can get from this harvest. Right, right. 
I make probably about I'm gonna make a couple thousand off the harvest. We we're gonna have to probably sell that tree. But I'll probably plant Yeah, I'll probably plant the fields first with some crop. And then we'll look at cutting another tree to sell it up just to see what we can get at. Because I have a feeling that's the only way. And with that being said, canola is going up, so I'll probably sell canola off. Yeah, we'll probably sell some canola. As it's the only crop I can afford. Well, I could do oats, can I die? Oats ain't too bad, but it's on the on a decrease. It's gonna take about a few days here. So I could just sell off the oats. In which case hmm, wait, No, I don't wanna do that. Because then we have straw and I have to sell this. I need to sell some straw off. And the issue with that is I don't want to load straw up with a shovel. I I could, and I'd probably do a lot of that off camera. I think that Harvester's hitbox is off. I, I'm gonna get the shovel though. I'll, probably, I'll get my shovel. And I gotta figure out where I'll put the Harvester. I'll probably put him in there. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so no, let's go sell off all the rest of the soybeans, see how much we make. It's not going to be a lot, it's not going to be insane. I wish it was, because I need the money. <laughs> you know what I could do? I could get the front loader onto this tractor. Get it a bale spike. And we're going to, you know what, let's sell those bales off. How about that? Okay, so it doesn't come with the money, but I could just buy a bales. Yeah, I can only see if I can get bill spike on them. We sell a bunch of bales. That goes just enough on to sell enough bales today for. Yeah, that's true. We can do that. Not cut down a tree. Put up a couple bales, sell the bales off. Invest it into a tractor, bunker, silo, mower. That money's not going to go very far, obviously. Uh, so I actually want to do potatoes. Oh, plus a, um, plus that $14,000 fertilize slash lime spreader as well. So that money is not gonna go too far. It's not gonna be like I'm breaking the game with it. Well, in which case, if I'm not gonna be game breaking, it's worth doing. Plus, I mean, it's like a few things. Plus, I could get the pallet fork on this tractor. Go bring the pallets back. Bring the seed pallet back. I'm probably going to get a shovel still.
Yeah, I'll probably still buy that shovel because I can use it for a couple things. Get this truck. Oop, wrong direction. And I put some hours on this tractor. 3.7. Yeah, let's do that then. Why not? We'll go with that plan. It's a good plan. And I can customize my tractor here at the store, so it's not. Plus the trailer customizer. Oh, okay, so we can if we fill it up with a tipper. No, we don't want to fill up a tipper. So yeah, let's customize the tractor and trailer to be bail styled. There we go. Alright, let's come on in here. Customize, yes, okay. There we go. I don't think I can move bales with him. It's fine if I can't. I'm, I'm gonna... Nope. I might still try it. Okay, I bought the pallet forks. Let's just buy a bell spike to see what will happen. I don't think this is going to work at all, though. So, because I doubt this will work, I will be selling that bell spike again. But let's just see here. Let's just see. Curious. I'm just curious, you know. <laughs> yep. As you see there, not going to work. All right, I'm gonna go see who's outside. Give me a hot minute. Stop it, bear! Stop, bear, bear! All right, my dog is barking at probably people across the street again, because he likes doing that for some odd reason. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that hit. That's gonna hurt. These are from the mod pack, so why won't they attach? Okay, look. I am so confused right now why I can't attach. Okay. Well, that's annoying.
Got it. I had to push out some more. Yeah, so, real big issue here is I can't afford. <laughs> Actually, I think I could like. I think I can spike the bales with this fork still, though. Technically speaking. There's a technical way I think I could do that. There we go. There we go, beautiful. One. Alright, now that we got that, we're gonna head back to the farm with it. I didn't grab a shovel, that's okay. Because, I mean, there's no point in me getting the shovel if I can't afford the, uh... What'd you even call it? Yeah, I don't remember what it's called. Oh! Mower. That's what... I want a mower. Mm, yeah. I mean, I'm also gonna work on towards planting potatoes, so we're gonna need a actual big boy track, a bigger tractor than what we have right now. Now I'm probably gonna get the Fiat. That's 8,500, or a Massey first, and that's 10,700. Just dependent on what I can afford with what. Or I might get both, cause I don't. I don't know, this Ferguson tractor, it does, yes, I do know that it technically is a front loader, but I kind of want one that I could also use, uh, say, bale spiking with as well. So with that being said, the ability to afford a bale spike is as important. So as soon as I can do that, I'm selling the pallet forks on this thing, and the front loader. I'm not going to customize the front loader anymore, and I'm just going to run it as is. Now, I do have a potato planter that I could get as well. Let me go to potato technology here. We're going to scroll all the way over. This right here, 1,100. You just need 43 horsepower to operate it. This thing right here. Gonna be what I use to take care of the potatoes. A. What is a bumper plumber? This is. Ah, okay. Let me see if there's a cheaper topper cutter on the mod workshop here. What's just she? I don't think there is. Which, not a big deal still for me. It's not a big deal. Oh, okay, I'm not paying attention to where I'm driving. I don't think there's a cheap Hopper cutter is there. No, there's not. Okay, that's not bad though. Whatever, I could get.
There we go. Look at that. Got it. Lined it up and everything. It's beautiful. I sure like doing those. That's just gonna probably be my. Let's just see here. Could we? Technically, I do know that it is possible to do what I'm about to do right now. Second, I'm about to do it. I am gonna do. I. Right, this is definitely not realistic at all, which is okay. Got it. Beautiful. Oh, golly day. I I only have a small issue. And that is, I don't have any... I just need to get real weight now. That right there, folks, is one bale. Huh. Alright, there we go. We'll just put. Let's just grab a silage bale. Okay. So. Okay. Here we go, folks. I might do this off camera for the rest of these fails. But I will tell you what, I will probably be working on buying. Okay. Oh, lordy. Nope. Put that down really low. Ooh okay. Here we go. Here we go, guys. This is a problem. Oh wait, let's just take a quick look here. Quick gander. <laughs> As you can tell, the back wheels are back on the ground. That's, that's interesting. It looked like the wheels were off the ground for a second. Look at that guys, we got two wheels on there. Do I attempt to get a third? You know what? Let's do it. You know? Just want to make it somewhat worth it. Trip up to that store. So, I will spike a round silage here, though, instead. There we go. It's more controlled this way. Bam! Look at that, guys. I got a couple bales on here. Ah, there we go. That's nice. I think that ought to hold it pretty well for us. This is not going to be an easy drive load, though. That's this.
Now, with that being said and done, I've just put probably a lot more strain on this track. But I'll probably work on selling off all those bales there. Off camera, because, you know. I'll probably need to buy this track for a week. Because to do that more effectively. Let's just see how much we get from this process. And then, yeah, that's where we'll, I'll probably be calling this one soon. Is selling uh, these bales off. And I might actually I want to do one more thing for the end of this episode and that's kind of seeing if we could direct drill or not if I could that would be amazing if not it kind of suck for us so let's just do that let's um yeah but a direct drill would allow me to well kind of quick plant which is kind of what we want right now is the quick plant Harvest the field, plant it again. Harvest the field, plant it, field again. And actually, if I do get a crazy amount, I might. Oh yeah, let me show you the other tractor I'm looking. I probably will get as well. So this tractor? Yeah, that's a plan. And you. Actually, I wonder then. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Because that tractor is 8,500. It could pull a decent amount, so could I pull? I If I get that tractor, we'll be looking at a brand new cedar as well which will be him all right all right all right so okay so we're working towards a few goals now one is Three thousand five seven nine. Okay. Is the weight worth buying then? I wonder, could I get a different weight? No, I can't. I have to get that one weight. You know what? I could do it without the weight. Is it a smart choice? No, it's probably not. It's probably the worst idea I'm making here. You know? But, I honestly, if I don't go fast, I'll be okay with it. Now, let's head right on back down to the farm. Because... I just... Because this is more probably going to be temporary. I don't think I'll be lifting often too heavy of items. Plus, I don't even know if I get that weight onto this trailer or not. And I could always add front. Well, no, I kind of need a little rear weight. But I can't use some of the other good rear weights in there. Which is really sad because I like the... There's some really good, nice rear weights on there. But yeah, no, I will probably, if what I'm hoping works, I will end up planting the field off camera. 
or I'll probably start it on camera, showing you what crop I'm planting it up with and with. Plant on that crop, and then yeah, we're gonna go from there. I keep hitting all the gas whenever I'm on that cruise control. Doesn't like it. Canola is a good crop to do next. And then, yeah. Working towards a loading wagon, I will definitely start looking at doing some straw crops as well. Or just looking at that shovel. Because how much does that shovel hold? I don't know. A hundred liters. So to fill this trailer, I would need to fill that shovel 30 times. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, that's not bad. But that's also going to be a lot of trips with doing something with straw, so. I think waiting for a little bit of wagon to do straw is a good, cho good choice. And honestly, it is. I'm also going to be working on getting... We're also working towards um, doing contracts as well in this series. Which means once we do those contracts, it's going to be based on comments or subscribers who give me some great ideas. Like, hey, you should do a wicka blah blah blah, but that's also only happening when I have four points of land. Four parts of land. And if I ever make a BGA, it's probably not going to be in my farmyard here. I'll probably do it somewhere else. Let's drop you off there. Drive down here. Uh, that's back. That's fine. Thought that was fine. And we're gonna see if this works. If it does work, that's gonna be insane. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be a little upset. There's wheat, barley, oat, canola. I think I'm doing canola. Now, I wonder, though. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. Alright. Well. I either buy the cultivator, or I could have it all off. Hmm. Honestly. I'll probably just run the plow at this point. Because that's what I did last time. So that's cool. It's fine. Pull up all the field again. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. I I rather though get a cultivator, so Okay, so I'll be getting a cultivator then, which means, ha 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 ha, is, let's see, can I, can my tractor run once, first question. I think I could, Or if I get 30 horsepower, I just get a crumbler and crumble it up. Up the 
ground. Ah, that sounds like a choice. You know what? Let's just plow it up. I'm gonna plow up the field again. Let's run the plow up one more time. Yeah. It's gonna take a bit of time to plow it all, but that's okay. Which means I will plow up the fields off camera, plant the fields off camera, and sell all the bales off camera. Or most of the bales. I mean, I'll just do one shed unit. I'm right now apparently sure what the plow. Actually, you know what? Let me sell all the bales. I'm gonna sell all the bales. No, I'll plow it. I'll plow this field for now. I. I already said we're gonna plow it, so I'll just plow up the field. Off camera. The whole field will be plowed. Don't worry about it. I'll probably do both fields. And then, with that being said and done, we plow out both fields. I'll probably do a massive... We're gonna make a new field next episode. I have no question in my mind that I will. I'm gonna. We're gonna make a new field next episode. I. Yep. Yeah. So that being decided, making a brand new field next episode. That's gonna be insane. Cause that field's gonna be. It might be massive. I don't know. I'm not gonna make it too massive. Cause now that I think about it, mm, maybe a couple small fields. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bunch of small fields. Uh, that would actually. That would be the best choice. So we do like. Honestly, pieces of land we're working right now, and about these sizes, aren't too bad. So maybe add a couple of those sizes into the back of my. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably do that. Not go, not go crazy with the design on the fields back there, but you know, do a decent size. But anyway, thanks for um, watching, everyone. I'm probably gonna cut the broad. Or the stream shortly. Let's just do one more pass here. I'll do my last pass. And then I'll cut the stream here today. But I hope y'all enjoyed. This is a yeah, this is a really fun series. I've been loving it. I might just do a bunch of off camera stuff. Who knows? I'll probably make the field so on camera. And if I do anything off camera I'll tell you guys. It's probably not going to be a lot. It might just be some really basic things. I might cut down a couple trees. Whatever I need to do. You know. Kind of have some money set up for us. Ready to go for when it. When, well when we need it. You know. Oh yeah. Extra money. Okay. Bam. We do it. We get it. Done. Uh. Yeah. But thanks for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed. I'm gonna call it here today because I don't see the point of doing too much more with everyone watching because I'm just gonna be doing this the rest of the time no one wants to watch me plow a field for a whole video so thanks for enjoying everyone and I'll see y'all later bye